Hey guys, and welcome to Gwent, the Witcher card game. My name is Jagoras, and today I have a Monsters Death Wish deck for you guys, and that is this Dagon deck here. Death Wish, I personally don't feel like is a very competitive archetype. There aren't really any silver or gold cards that have kind of Death Wish synergies explicitly, so you kind of have to do your own thing a little bit. On top of that, the cards with Death Wish are kind of lackluster, cards like Rock Fiend, for example. So it's a difficult one to build a deck with, and this isn't a deck I would run in ranked um, at high MMR. I mean, if you're kind of low to mid MMR, this could be a fun deck to play, but I don't think it's that competitively viable. Now, the gist of this deck is that we want to spawn a load of units. We want to get loads of units. So we have uh, Solana Harpies, when you play these it spawns two eggs on the left side of the unit, so we get three Harpies. On top of that we have these Earth Elementals, Death Wish, spawn two lesser Earth Elementals at the end of the row. So we've got these dudes, and we can actually synergize these with the Griffins. We can use these to trigger the Death Wish of a Bronze Ally, so this doesn't kill it, it just triggers it, and spawns those little Earth Elementals. On top of that we have Harpies, so as we're playing the Beasts, like the Solano Harpy and the Griffin, these are going to get pulled onto the board, damage the lowest unit, and give us more units. Then we can play Woodland Spirit, which spawns three Rabid Wolves, which are beasts, so more units on the board, which then pull Harpies. On top of that we get Fog, which pulls Foglet. On top of that this is a gold card, so it pulls Roach. You can kind of see where the deck thinning is going here. And we get loads of units, which will then allow us to play Yennefer and spawn a Unicorn, ideally. Unicorn deploy, boost all other units by four. So if we play the Unicorn, it will boost all units on our side of the board and their side of the board by... It's not by four, by two, sorry. So if we have more units than them, which we should because of this deck, then we are in a good position to get a lot of points out of that. Another option we have for a win condition is Iris. Iris, Death Wish, boost five random units on the other side of the board by five. So we're going to be playing Iris, and then we can kill her in a number of ways. We can kill her with Alzer's Thunder. We can kill her with a Cyclops, deploy, de destroy an ally, and damage an enemy by the destroyed ally's power. So we can destroy, say, a harpy, if it's if she's just on three health, or maybe something bigger if she's on more health, and use that to destroy Iris, which is going to boost everything on our side of the board. Uh, you can also use these to target Death Wish units, but it's not really that useful, although this guy then does get boosted by three. Uh, alternatively, like I said, Elza's Thunder, or we have Abaya, Spawn, Torrential Ring, Clear Skies, or Arrakis Venom. Uh, Arrakis Venom damage three adjacent units by four, so we can use this to kill Iris um, as well. And then, if we've killed Iris, we can actually then play Caretaker, resurrect her, and then kill her again for a lot of points. So these are our kind of win conditions that we're employing in this deck. Uh, on top of that, I have Gales to help us thin, try and find our silver cards like Iris, for example, or Yennefer, should we need her. Uh, I've got a Frightener in here, which gives us some card advantage. Marigold's Hailstorm, because it is just generally good. And a Morvud, in case our opponent happens to lock our iris that we have an unlock for her so that's pretty nice and yeah that is the deck if you like this deck hit that thumbs up button guys let me know what you think in the comments below but without further ado i'm going to jump into a casual game and i'll showcase this deck in action for you humans have no place in broccolon <laughs> Okay, so we're up against Ethne, and Ethne is probably control. It's probably the Scoia'tael spell deck that you see quite a lot of. The fact that we have a lot of small units makes this quite nice because they shouldn't see huge amounts of value out of their Ulzer's Thunder. Caretaker and Woodland Spirit is good, but no Gels or Yennefer or Iris. In terms of the Mulligan, we want to get rid of Foglets and any Harpies that we might draw. Uh, we have Ulzer's Thunder. So we can probably afford to Mulligan the Cyclops because we also have a buyer. There's Iris, which is really good. And on top of that, I'm wondering what we hold on to here. I'm wondering what we hold on to. Probably we get rid of Griffins because we don't have any Earth Elementals. So we'll get rid of that as well. And there's an Earth Elemental, which is what we did want here. So our turn. So we'll open up with a Harpy and start to get some units on the board. We want to have at least, you know, five units on the board such that when we kill Iris, we get decent value. Yep, this is the standard deck. So let's get some more units on the board by playing... Woodland Spirit on the back row. And you'll see that's going to pull Roach. That's going to pull a Harpy. That's going to pull Foglet. It's a huge tempo play. It's going to get Fog on the row. And we're now nicely set up here that we can, if we wish, kill the Farseer. But before we do that, let's get rid of this weather. Because I cannot be bothered about it. Can't be dealing with this. Let's just get rid of it. And this is the other reason to run a buyer. I mean, we have a Alza's Thunder for Iris. So I'm not particularly worried in that regard. So the option we have here is we can kill the Farseer uh, with Alza's Thunder, or we can just play Iris 
and get this set up for, you know, just killing so her. So let's play her now and get her set up here for the big power play. And this may encourage our opponent to pass because they know that we're going to kill her. She's going to boost five units by five. That's 25 points. We've got a huge amount of potential tempo here. Um, and if our opponent doesn't have a counter for it, which it doesn't look like they do, then we can kind of just get on with life. Popping the egg pulls another harpy, kills a unit for us. Um, and so we'll go then into the Elsa's Thunder on the Iris. Boom. Tempo complete. We now have 52 points and they have seven. At this point, I think we can get away with passing. And there's the pass. And we can actually repeat this action. We do have Caretaker. So we have the option to repeat it. The issue that we have at the moment is we don't have a Cyclops to kill it. We had to play a buyer to clear weather. So we don't have great options for killing the Iris. Should we resurrect her? We can get a lot of targets on the board though. We have, you know, both of these Griffins. We have Earth Elemental, we have Frightener. So we have options to get units on the board and potentially with Frightener, we could pull a Cyclops. So that is kind of what we're thinking about here. So I guess we just stick with it and then we can open with Frightener here and there's the Cyclops. So we're in a good position in order to get this set up should we wish to. We've got Fog, so we can always tick that onto one of the rows. Um, and fun. potentially we go Let's for a 2-0 here and try and force our opponent out of the round with the amount of kind of points that we do have. I think that's not a bad strategy. And we can always decide to kind of wait is the other thing. Like we don't have to go for it. We could instead choose to just kind of stall out the round and try and drain our opponent's cards. The fact that we have Frightener means that we've kind of negated the card advantage that they had, which is quite good for us. We'll play our uh, Earth Elemental now. And this dude's gonna have a little shield. And because he's gonna have a little shield, we're kind of in a good spot in terms of protecting him so he's not going to be able to just zap him and kill him which is really good for us the close guys is annoying but again we're going to just start spawning units all over the shop the risk we have here is that we might get lacerated or we could get ragnarugged that's a little bit annoying but i think we can still kind of play into this round i feel comfortable in this regard so let's do this and spawn more of these dudes get a whole little row of them and now we got a lot of targets, so we could just go for a Yennefer into a pass here. But the thing is, I think what we do want to do is go for that caretaker strategy, uh, potentially, before we play the Yennefer. So let's stack the front row. We want to kind of mix stack the rows. Then we can resurrect Iris. Um, and we'll put her on the back row. And then we've got the Cyclops that we can use to kill her. And then boost all of our units again. There will be no negotiation. So he's resurrecting a special card, probably going for marching orders again, I would have thought. There's not really great targets for Alza's Thunder, so you don't really want to do that. And you can see we're pulling out his protectors, you know, more or less right here, right now. And if we kill this, we buff this, but then we don't get carryover. So the question is, do we kill this? Actually, this is only worth two. We can't kill this. We'll kill the Griffin then, because we need to do enough damage. So into this, onto the Griffin, and onto Iris. She dies again. We get boosted. And now we're on a tie game, but we have Yennefer in hand. And like Yennefer, we could use to pop their shields. So he's got shields on his units, which means that Marigolds isn't as useful as we'd like her to be. The other issue we actually have here is that um, he's 26 points up. <laughs> that is that is kind of a small issue that we kind of have to be dealing with here. Uh, the fact of the matter is because he Marigolds me um, and a lot of my boosted units were together, that kind of cost us a fair whack of points. So... Do we Yennefer? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units. He has one, two, three, four, five, six units. So plus Yennefer, 10 units, plus the unicorn. So I think we'd get an extra few points. I don't know if it would be enough points. The alternative is we don't play into this round and try and find Gales or Mulvard and then play Yennefer on the last round. I think he's too many points ahead for us to play into this. We have gotten a lot of his, you know, big point cards out though. We got two Dolblathana protectors there. Um, the question is, can he find his last one? Because that's that's where this is going to kind of, that's where this is going to come out to play basically. Cyclops. I think we have to mulligan the Hailstorm. There's not a good use of Hailstorm here. Earth Elemental is good. We can actually not kill the Earth it. Elemental you should with the Cyclops and deal damage and also trigger more targets. So that's not a bad play. Nature's Gift into probably First Light, I would have thought. Like some kind of rallying effect, basically. 
It's gotta be that, right? What you got? Nigh is the time of Eth nay. Into. What's your last one? Alza Thunder, Alza Thunder. Oh, well, he spawned our dudes for us, which is objectively useful. We can kill one and hit him for two, but that's not really going to help us that much. Um, although if we kill one, we kill one of his units, which is actually not too bad. So let's take this unit out, because if we kill this unit, then it's one fewer target for the Yennefer. What's your last card? Oh, I don't think this is going to be enough points, unfortunately. Uh, unicorn. Yeah, what's it going to be? Oh, we lose by one. You hate to see it, you guys. You hate to see it. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately not enough. But we were playing against a top tier deck in casual against a 4,300 MMR player. So what can you do? What can you do? We'll jump into another game and I'll showcase this Death Wish deck again for you guys. If it's peace you desire, prepare for war. Okay, so we're up against a reveal. Obviously we're mulliganing harpies. Oh look, Roach. Obviously we're mulliganing Roach. And the other obvious mulligan is uh, Foglet. So we, we do risk pulling that. Let's see what we've got. Iris, Frightener, Yennefer. So we've got Yennefer and we've got Iris, which isn't too bad. Couple Griffins to use on the Earth Elementals. Good. Couple Solano Harpies isn't too bad. We maybe don't need both of our Cyclops. Uh, they're useful in that we might need one to kill Iris again later, but we don't need them both this round. Oh, all of the units. We've got so many units here I'm that we're in a pretty good position. He's going to get loads of points, Jesus Christ. We're in a pretty good position... Um, if he wants to... Oh, in terms of units, if we want to Yennefer is what I was going to say. Here we play Fog. It gives us, you know, a decent amount of tempo that he can't just pass here. Like, we'd, we'd get a decent number of points. So that is good. He's revealing our cards. Hopefully he doesn't reveal Iris. Iris is the one we don't want him revealing. Jesus Christ. Can you calm down with your tempo plays? We're on 10, and we need to catch 24. Do we have a way to catch 24 points here? In like two cards? Not easily. I think we just give up the round. This is not worth... Not worth... Oh, that's kind of worth. Now we potentially can catch him in two cards. What has he got? 38. We get... Let me work this out. 7 and 6 is 13. 14, 15, 16. So we get 16 from Marigolds. 17, 18 because of the fog. 19, 20 because of another fog. So I need a play that makes 18 points. Do I have an 18 point play? If I play Yennefer, Kyronex, how many points is that? That's quite a lot of points. We would have 3 units and he would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... So he'd have five more units than us. Ten points. Six and four. I think that's enough. Maybe. I think it's enough. Do we go for it? I feel like we should. You cross the wrong source. Think, oh shit, I forgot about her. That's actually a fine though. That's actually more points. Forgot about Roach. Boom! A. Hey. So my maths was correct, we would have been up by two points if we didn't have Roach. Um, so that's good. That is good. Did some very, very quick maths. Like, it's easy to do one round maths, but when you're trying to do like two round maths and it's a lot of like weird interactions, life can be difficult. Okay. Harpy, can I have a gold card, please? That's not a gold card. We could drive past him this round. But I feel like we probably want to just set up carryover, which are these guys and these guys. So we may as well play into this round. And just have a load of carryover. Regis, what are you gonna eat? Probably a Cyclops or a Griffin. We eat a Harpy. You know, Harpy's actually fine for us. Let's start playing out these eggs and then, you know, thinning our Harpies as well. Albrich. Into a Cyclops is okay. More Harpies? Hopefully it doesn't have, like, tremors. 
Which he could have if he has Van Hamer. Oh, come on. What, like, why do I even bother speaking? Oh, I only hit two eggs. Fucking beautiful. And it, and it uh, milled us a little bit. We could pass here and still go cards up. Let's play this. More eggs. What you got? Okay, no here. Into, oh, more revealing. Don't shoot my eggs! I grew them myself! Who does this? Maybe we just pass here. Because we want the griffins with the earth elementals. We pass here, we get card advantage for the final round. So I think we just pass. We got Regis and Kahir out of him and Albrich. We got like loads of good cards out of him. And he got like <laughs> harpies out of us. And we've already played Yennefer, so like having all these harpies isn't really in any way necessary. We also thinned our deck. Which means we're likely to get a lucky top deck here. And see Woodland Spirit. A I can't believe that actually worked. Let's get rid of one of these. Nice. This is pretty good. I'm happy with this. The only issue is we didn't get caretakers, we can't double play Iris. But I still think we have a decent number of points. In terms of what we have. What is it? The question is, do I want to fog now? When he's only got two units on the row. Or do I want to fog later when there's more units on the row? I feel like I want to fog now. Maybe we fog later. We need to wait till he stacks the row a bit more. Let's play this dude. And then we can play our griffins. Which he knows it? I have. Oh, he's got... Oh, he's going to do that Geralt thing, isn't he? He's going to do that Geralt thing. Oh, well. There's nothing we can do about it. So he's going to play his spotters and he's going to be like, Hey, look, there's Geralt in my hand. Let's spotter them. What do you shoot here? He killed my foglet. That foglet was like a foglet to me. I really hope he doesn't have Marigold's Hailstorm. Because <laughs> this row is getting stacked, boys. This row is getting stacked. Uh, Varu? Varu? Varu to you too, bitch. Do you imagine Commander's Horn? Maybe you should play Commander's Horn in this deck. What would you take out? Like you gotta take someone out if you're gonna run Commander's Horn is the thing. Hmm. So I can kill something and hit it. How many turns? Like, I can do six damage, basically. So I guess we play this, kill this, shoot this. Because these are gonna get hit by Fog anyway. And that equates to more points, basically. Because we... Killing it, you know, buff the... Or strengthen the Cyclops with our Death Wish. So I guess we go a Baya, not a Baya, Iris here, and put her in the back row. So that we can then get decent value out of our Abaya. I don't recall. How many... He doesn't have any more spotters because he played Geralt. Oh, interesting. So, Arrakis Venom. Boop. Everything is dead. Thanks for all the points. Catch me if you can, baby. I got a reset as well. Well, not a reset. It does half the damage, but, you know, his spot is not looking so good. Ooh, Igni. Oh, I'm, I'm one point down. If only I had a card. Oh, I was going to BM him. Let's BM him. Why not? BM plays. BM plays. <laughs> yeah, so that's the gist. That's the gist of the... Uh, of the the death wish iris deck it's really fun i really like the i like the strategy i think the strategy is really fun with the, the swarm and yennefer and with iris the issue is i guess there's not that many good silvers and golds otherwise that synergize with the strategy and also you kind of are very slow tempo like playing harpies is low tempo playing um elementals is what is low tempo there's a lot of low tempo plays in here so i think it can be really tough to keep up um i think going for that round uh, I think going for that round one was good. With the Marigolds, that actually worked out really nicely for us. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you guys think of the deck in the comments below. Uh, and if there's any kind of silly suggestions or serious suggestions for decks that you'd like to see me play. If you want to support the channel, there's always YouTube sponsorship, which you can find at gaming.youtube.com forward slash Jagoras. There'll be a link in the description. You can also find me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jagoras. And on Twitter, at Jagoras. Um, but yeah, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!